Hi friends, it's Hazel's mom. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of a non-Newtonian fluid? A non-Newonian what now? <laughs> a non-Newtonian fluid. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fluid that acts in a way that we don't think it should act. Sounds weird, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So we know that water is a liquid, right? At room temperature, we know exactly how water is gonna act. We can pour it from jar to jar. We can drink it. <laughs> we splash around in it in the bathtub or the swimming pool. So we know exactly how water in its liquid state is gonna act, right? Yeah. We also know that solids like these rocks are, well, solid. Yeah, these rocks are not gonna change. <laughs> oh, just like my science table. My science table is also a solid. So I can count on my science table to always be the same because it's a solid. But what if I told you that we can actually make a substance that acts like a liquid, but also acts like a solid? I don't think you can do that. That sounds weird. Right, it does sound weird, but it is absolutely true and we are gonna do it today. Yeah, <laughs> grab your lab coat, scientists. It's science day and we are gonna do something really fun. All right, friends, I am so excited to share this experiment with you today. So the non-Newtonian fluid that we're gonna be making today is called an oobleck. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty funny name, isn't it? Oobleck, oobleck, oobleck. <laughs> so an oobleck is my favorite non-Newtonian fluid. It acts like a liquid, but it also acts like a solid. And it is really fun. Okay, so to make an oobleck, you're gonna need two simple ingredients, cornstarch and water. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take two cups of cornstarch and one cup of water. I've colored this water purple so that it's easier to see the oobleck against my white science table. And then we're gonna mix them together. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our oobleck and then we'll play with it and I'll show you what I mean by a non-Newtonian fluid. Yeah. So when you make an oobleck, you want to start with the cornstarch and then add your water in slowly because you don't always need the entire cup of water. But this experiment gets really messy. So if you're going to do this at home, make sure your parents are there to help you. Okay? Yeah. hard to stir at the end. Because remember, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Yeah, so even though it acts like a liquid, it also acts like a solid, which makes it kind of hard to stir together. Okay, but once we have our oobleck all mixed together, we're gonna move it from this bowl into another glass dish, so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So we're gonna pour it 
out of this glass bowl just like it's a liquid. Okay, are you ready? It acts just like a liquid, doesn't it? Yeah, you can pour it just like water or mud or paint. Yeah, it just pours right in there. Oh. <laughs> and it's really messy. Okay, so now we've moved our oobleck to this container. So let's take our fork and see if we can poke it. It acts just like a solid when you hit it quickly. But watch this. Do you see how the fork goes right through the oobleck? Or the oobleck goes right through the fork? But now watch. It's a solid again. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, let's poke it through. Poke. And it comes out, but then it's a solid. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's put it through the oobleck one more time. Liquid. and solid. <laughs> and look, we can mix it. Do you see how it looks like a solid when it mixes? And then it almost, it's almost like it melts. I mean, that's pretty cool, don't you think? Okay, I wanna show you another thing. We're going to take this little orange spatula and see if we can get it to go through the oobleck. <laughs> okay, but watch this. Do you see that? Yeah, the spatula goes down the side of the container and moves the oobleck out of the way. The oobleck rushes in as a liquid, but then it's a solid. <laughs> okay, I don't know about you guys, but this is really cool. Yeah, okay, but now let's use our hands and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna get our fingers ready. And. Hey, it's a solid! <laughs> but watch this. Ooh. My hands almost melt right into the oobleck. Do you see that? How cool is that? And then again, it's a solid. Okay, so let's try to pick up the oobleck in our hands. Can you see how it looks like a solid and almost like it's crumbling apart when I try to pick it up with my hands? Yeah, but let's, whoops, <laughs> but let's make a ball and see what happens. You have to move really fast with an oobleck because the faster you move, the more solid it will stay. Once you slow down, it's gonna melt back into a liquid. Ready? 
Wow, that is so cool. I think we should do that again. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna crush this one. And notice how it looks like it's really crumbly between my fingers, and then it's gonna go to liquid. See how it crumbles? Oh man, I could play with an oobleck all day. Okay, let's make another ball. And then we're gonna let it melt back into a liquid. Oh my goodness, that is so much fun! <laughs> I really hope that you get a chance to make an oobleck of your own. I mean, it's a little bit messy, but wow, it is so fun. Okay, I have one more thing I wanna try. But first, <laughs> I need to clean the oobleck off my hands. Okay, so now that I have, well, <laughs> most of the oobleck on my hands, let's see what happens when we bounce a bouncy ball in it. Yeah, so this one is red with spikes on it. <laughs> and it bounces on my solid table. Let's see what happens when we bounce it on the oobleck. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna bounce or do you think it's gonna sink in? Well, let's find out. Okay, on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see that? Let's do it again. totally bounces. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what happens when we just set it on top. It sinks into the oobleck, just like our hands and our spatula and our fork did. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, scientists, I have had so much fun exploring non-Newtonian fluids like the oobleck with you today. Yeah, the oobleck is really fun, isn't it? If you want to make an oobleck at home, first, make sure to ask your parents because it does get really messy. But second, I have the recipe in the description below so you can try it at home for yourself. And if you do make an oobleck, I would really love to see pictures. Have your parents post them on Instagram and tag us at Hazel's Mom Official, hashtag Official Explorer. That way I can join in the fun and see all of the cool things that you and your oobleck get up to. <laughs> yeah! All right, friends, that's the end of this video. But if you want to continue exploring, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed the oobleck as much as I do. We'll see you next time. Bye.